Fox Rage has got some of the best predator anglers in Europe. They're knowledgeable, they're skillful, and they're passionate about what they do. But how do you judge the best of the best? Well, that's exactly what we're here to do. We've got eight of our best anglers from across the continent slugging it out on the streets of Liège. They're fishing the mighty river mass out here beside us, taking each other on and representing their own countries. This is Fox Rage Street Fighters. Welcome to Fox Rage Street Fighters. Taking place on the streets of Liège in Belgium, we have four teams of anglers fighting it out over two days of lure fishing competition to be crowned Fox Rage champions. This is all pure street fishing, no boats, just banks, and a lot of legwork. Let's meet the teams. First up, Team Benelux. The youngest of our teams, Fox Rage Benelux, sees Dutch anglers Taj van Acker and Koen Sipma combine forces to take the fight to our older guys. At 18 and 19 years old, these boys already have a vast amount of experience underneath their belts and should not be underestimated by the other teams. I'm uh, Thijs van Acker. And I'm Koen Sipma and we're hopefully going to win. We're the, the new generation and uh, we're going to do our best for the, the young ones. Um, Koen and I fish together a lot of times, also in our free times. And we know what our qualities are. Mine is more the power fishing style and yep. Koen is more the finesse guy. Yes, I'm more into the, the finesse style, so as light as possible. As Thijs is uh, maybe a bit harsh with the weights, so uh, we're gonna play into each other and uh, we hope for the best. I don't know. Uh, I maybe think the, the French guys, um, they came in with a, a good attitude, so maybe you want to show them that uh, also the young generation is, uh, is sharp and ready to play. Also the French. <laughs> <laughs> yes, maybe also the French, but uh, that's good, because we're now sharp and uh, we're going to do our best to beat them and to beat the rest. Slick shed, what color? Hot olive. O always hot olive. Always. always. Nice. Team UK sees a pairing of anglers Kev Cox and Trev Gunning. Highly capable anglers with a range of skills at their disposal. With many years of fishing and competition angling between them, Team UK goes into Fox Ray Street Fighters confident, despite the fact that the fishing here is very different to what they're used to. I've got a great respect for all the anglers here. Obviously, they're, they're all at the top of their game. Um, but knowing Sylvain for um, a long time um, and knowing of his, his prowess in the sport, having seen him fish, yeah, to, to beat him would be good. Well, hopefully we're going to smash up all the teams. However, um, you know, everybody's here on merit, everybody's a good angler and it's going to come down to who finds the fish at the right time of the day with the right technique. I don't think anything scares me, but... I wouldn't um, say scare is the word. I mean, this type of fishing is completely out of our comfort zone. Um, our river fishing back at home in England is a lot on a much smaller scale than this. However, I'm hoping that my reservoir experience with the deeper water and the, the, the bigger fish is going to come into play tomorrow. And the nearest that I come to it is I fish the Severn quite a bit. So, you know, again, that's a big, powerful river, but in terms of size com in comparison to this, it's not in the same league, you know. But um, yeah, no, I, d I don't think we're scared of, of going out and attacking it. <laughs> I don't think you can uh, you can say that you're least <laughs> scared of any team. Um, every team is here because they can fish well. You're, you're so I know you're diplomatic. We're diplomatic. <laughs> hey, look, look. 
There's Brexit. We've been taken off the Belgium license system for over here for fishing. So, um, no, I think uh, you've got to respect everyone. And with the way that it's fishing, I think, you know, things can change very quickly. We found that out yesterday when we were practicing. Swims that didn't produce at one time of the day then produced at another time of the day. So I think, you know, it won't be over until, as we say in England, the fat lady sings. On to Team Germany. Made up of anglers Hermann Huslein and Patrick Maribel, this is a great combination of big fish angler and finesse specialist. Both anglers have a knack of finding those very special fish to rack up the centimetres, meaning Team Germany are definitely ones to watch out for over the next two days. My name is Hermann Hoslein. I'm representing Fox Ridge Germany together with a mate, Patrick Maribel, also from Germany. And we are checking it out and we want to rock the party tomorrow at the tournament. So actually our main target will be for sure the perch and the sander because um, today in our, um, in our test fishing we already saw some, some nice spots where we want to hunt tomorrow and we got some insider information where we maybe can uh, get some good, good fish, some quality fish and that will be our main target for the morning especially and after we will see um, how the plan will go and how the weather will be and how the morning goes and then we have to react and improve and see how we can kick the other asses. No one. Why should we be scared? We know that we can fish, everyone can fish. Patrick is a specialist for big, big perch. I can do good sanders in my hometowns, so why should we be scared? For sure there's Sylvain, who is well known in France. The British guys, we don't know. And then the Dutch ones, we have to see what they can take. They are pretty young maybe not so experienced than us, and we will see it at the end. Our well, very experience with street fishing, as street fishing is extremely popular in the Netherlands, so I've got respect for them all, but I have to say, we are all part of the Fox Rage team, and I think there should be everyone a good angler, so everyone has got his skills and possibilities to have a great day with great catches. And in the end, also, it's a lot decided by luck, getting the right spot on the right moment. So you can influence a lot by skills, but finally luck will uh, decide a lot too. I think for me it's quite funny if I, with a British team, because my father is from Britain, so I've even got a British passport. So it's quite a nice um, combination for myself. I think I would uh, try to kick Silva in his ass. <laughs> Team France sees the pairing of lower superstar Sylvain Legendre with highly skilled angler Matt Bollard. These guys are a tight unit, with a range of skills already feared by some of the other teams, meaning the French are strong contenders to show the others how things are done on the streets of Liège. I'm Sylvain Legendre, I'm a Fox Rage brand ambassador and uh, from Team France, together with Matt. Yeah. And my name is Matthew, uh, I'm uh, in the French team with Sylvain and I'm consultant for Fox Rage. I'm more used to, to fish from a boat, so street fishing is something quite exciting, very different from what I used to do. So I like all kinds of, of fish, you know, perch, zander, um, maybe not us, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, perch, zander, pike. But I think we are expecting to catch a few zanders and, and perch tomorrow. That's the main target. Yeah, and for me normally my specialty is to fish from the shore. So maybe uh, tomorrow we can can find something to, to catch some good fish. Probably the England one, no? Yeah, probably the English English one. 
Um, for several reasons, I would say. A um, little bit of historical reason in between French and, and UK. Um, like, a, yeah, rivality, I don't yes. know. I don't know how to say but and, and the main reason for me is that they are very skilled anglers. Um, no, truly. Uh, Kevin and Trevor are really good fishermen. They are used to, to finesse techniques from the bank. Uh, they are masters of drop shooting and stuff with like that. Very little. With, with small yeah. lures. So I think they have a different approach uh, than our. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what works. Yeah, for sure. We will definitely go with probably with bigger baits, uh, heavier yeah. stuff. We'll target probably bigger fish. Doesn't mean we will uh, catch them, but I think our approach is a little bit different from yes. the from the English team. So that's probably the one we would like to to smash. Yeah. What do you think, or what do you hope? Uh, yeah. Anyway, we it's it's kind of a friendly competition. Yes, but it's a fun competition. in friendly competition, you have competition, so it means you you want to win it. So we'll do our best to win it and it uh, doesn't matter the ranking afterwards. Mm -hmm. I think we will be second, third, fourth. I said we want to win and we don't care who will be second, third, fourth. So it's important to win, but anyway you will remember the winner and not the other ones. If you are second, third, fourth, to me it's the same. You win or you lose. So we want to win. So there you have our teams. Now here are the rules. The fishing will be split over two days, with two sessions per day. This is a length based tournament, with a running length total each day. Four species count, pike, perch, zander and asp. However, there are minimum size limits. Fish under 45cm for pike, 25cm for perch and 40cm for zander won't count, while there is no minimum size limit for asp caught. At the end of each day, the overall length caught by each team will be counted up with points scored as follows. The longest length each day earns 3 points, second longest 2 points, third longest 1 point and fourth longest 0 points. But there are bonuses to be earned. The longest specimen of each species earns an extra bonus point for the team that caught it, meaning there's a maximum total of 7 points each day to be won for any one team. OK. Rule set, teams ready. It's time to kick off the action. Fox Ray Street Fighters is on. Here we go, Team France is ready for the off, with Sylvain preparing for the first cast of the competition. So we're ready to go, about to make the first cast of the day. So it's a uh, good light condition, so I can't wait to, to cast, because that's normally in the summer time with hot temperature and so on. That's always the best time of the day, starting early. So we are at the very end of the course, I think. Not very end, but we are up, upstream on the course. So that's one of our spots, one of the spots we, we saw yesterday. So there is a Ourt River coming to the, to the Mass, to the Meuse. So looks like a good spot. So this morning I'm, I'm just using a a 9 cm slick shad and a jig head and a 10 gram jig head. So that's a, that's a, a small lure, I mean quite small. Uh, and the jig head is a little bit heavy, it's 10 grams. So it allows me to make um, a lot of casts and uh, check if there is an active zander somewhere. So that's quite a quick technique compared to the techniques we will use in the middle of the day when it will be uh, hotter and, and calmer, so that's something to, to cover a lot of water. At the 
same time, Matt is adopting a different approach. So, I know Sylvain tried to fish with uh, sauce bait, like I think slick shad. On the bottom, and for me, I use the Hornet. So, two dif different techniques to catch maybe, maybe a perch, something like this. So this part of the river are a little bit shallow. So in the morning, I think it's good. minutes no bite I think we we made uh, the wrong choice in the uh, in the location so there are two other bridges we can check quickly but it sounds like a bad start because we were supposed to I mean we were hoping for some morning bites but it doesn't come so we need to react uh, quickly <laughs> any luck Okay, I think we made the wrong choice. Yeah. We need to, I think we need to check quickly those bridges yeah, and uh, see if we can get a bite, but that's definitely not here. Yeah. So, let's move. Meanwhile, Team Benelux is already fishing hard, and there's a good reason why they've chosen to start where they have. We're going here because uh, yesterday, in pre-fishing, I lost a really heavy fish here. So we think there's more. That's why we try it here. Uh, I'm starting with uh, just a jig head and a soft bait. Just to see if there's any active fish. Uh, always go one soft bite, so maybe uh, I will change to a Carolina rig for a more uh, subtle approach. But for now, I'm uh, just jigging. And how did you guys enjoy the early start? <laughs> it was tough to get up, but uh, I think the light, light conditions are good for fishing now. But Ty's just can't get that lost fish out of his head. Um, switching to a bigger uh, slick shed because I lost a big fish here yesterday and big bait could mean bigger fish not always but that's why i'm gonna try it now not long after that switch up just changed my bait to 11 centimeter slick shaft and uh, not even five minutes first one is in 40 Let's do it the contest way, 47. First nice fish. Right between the, um, the stones. Nice one, let's get another one. So, a good start for Team Benelux. Let's go and see how Team UK are getting on. So here we are, first spot, day one. Um, it's one of the bridges in the main town. We've done a few hours practice. We've managed to catch a couple of fish here every time we've tried. So um, it's an obvious starting point. Fingers crossed, we need to get an early fish on the board, bit of confidence up and um, smash the others. So I'm starting off with a little slick shad, nine centimetre hot olive. Trev started on a nine centimetre lemon tiger. 
and there's the first bunch of mussels coming in. But on the plus side, where the mussels are is where the zanders are. Snag City, not a good start. Could be the second jig down already. How are you feeling about the competition, Kev? I'm nervous, very nervous. Till I get that first bite and the first fish, it's like with any tournament, you're always nervous. Um, in practice, we've had contacts by now, so um, yeah, it's a little bit unnerving. The plan is um, fish this out, probably not give it too long, is that right Trav? Probably not give it too long, um, we've got another bridge just above us that we had a few contacts, a couple of fish in practice, so certainly between here and there it's probably a couple of hundred metres, cover that water. Uh, we know the fish are here, it's just finding that trigger. So far then it's a slow start for Team France and Team UK, with one fish for Team Benelux. But how are the Germans getting on? Before Team Germany could even get their microphone sorted out, they're into a good fish. It can't be better with this beauty of a perch, a chunky one, 46 and a half. Wow, what a start into a match. It can't be better. Thank you, my lady. I hope I can catch more of them. The job is done for the beginning, and now we're hoping for more of these ones. So now we have already been fishing for half an hour. The first perch is already nailed and it was a pretty good one. And so the sun is coming up and uh, we are pretty lucky to get even one fish. I was hoping for the sander to catch them straight on the walls or around the, uh, around the bridges. But so far no sander for us. But at least this nice chunky perch. Now we will try to cast all the, all the bridges up here in Liège and see and hope that we can find any sanders. And then if this won't work uh, till eight o'clock, I think we will maybe change our plans, our tactics, and then focus more in the deeper areas and fish them out and see what will happen. What a start for the Germans. The Team Benelux are on the warpath and they're fishing hard. The current over here is passing through two canals and um, there's a nice line of the current here. So I think we can expect some, uh, some zanders here. Well, second fish of the day. Small zander again. Small zander. We're going to check if, if it's uh, 40 centimeters. That's the minimum size for zander. And it is 46, 47. Is it 46? No, 36, sorry. It's too small. How are you getting on, Kuhn? Uh, not so good. Didn't have any bites, only uh, a grumble. So I'm fishing with a small one. 
I'm gonna size up because Thijs is catching them with the big ones. So uh, let's hope for the best. I'm gonna switch to a 10 gram and I'm gonna try another color. Um, with 7 grams I was fishing too slowly for my feeling. Um, so I'm gonna try it a little bit faster. It took like 6, se se six uh, seconds to hit the ground again. That's why I'm switching to 10. Well, I got a nice sander, but on the hook set my rod broke. <laughs> Maybe it was damaged, I think. Wacht, ik moet hem iets. It's a nice fish. Wacht, ik schep hem even van achter, ja? Ja. Hij past er niet in. Oh, ja. Wacht, ga eerst naar dat daar. Daar is het lager, daar kan ik hem erin schuiven. Ja, hier. Hij is al bijna los, hè? Kijk, hier kan ik hem er zo in doen. Ja? Hou hem ja. met water dan. Dan schuif ik hem erin. Yes! Ja, wacht. Yes! Broken rod, but nice sander. How big do you think it is? Well, 65, 70? 65, I think. It's a good fish. That's you a did it, mate. Well, I obviously didn't, but <laughs> nice yeah. fish. So it's off. Let's take a quick measure, and it is. 67. 67, yes. It's a nice fish. I was actually reeling in for my cast because I was almost getting in um, in some sh in a um, in a pole that's on the water. And just before the shore, I saw a nice uh, deeper hole, and I let it down over there, and it was halfway down and uh, got hammered. I caught it on a slick shed, nine centimeter hot olive. My favorite color, nice fish, I'm gonna put it back. Great work by Team Benelux, who pull into the lead even without their second fish counting. With the big Xander returned, it's time to catch up with the British, who are moving on just a few miles down the river. Man on a mission. So here we are on the second little spot of day one. Um, we're only a couple of hundred yards up from the first spot, the bridge you can see in the background. Um, we had a bit of pre-fishing between these two bridges and, and caught at both bridges, so we're quite surprised we didn't get a pull on that first bridge, to be honest. Granted, we haven't given it very long, um, but we're out earlier than we've been on the water in practice, so their feeding might be slightly different. The plan here is to, um, yeah, just to, to keep hammering at it and try and just provoke a take, at least get some confidence up, know that the fish are here, know that we can get them feeding, hopefully get one in the net. I think that's my first It's a snag pit, isn't it? <clears throat> I've gone back to the slick shad, I just like that tail movement on the slick shad. Doesn't rock and roll as much as a pro shad but I think the way that we're fishing it like that the way that we're fishing it with short short turns of the reel I think this one's gone oh no he's out There's a tip for the red, and then again. Feeling for a touchdown, and then 
a couple of short type, sharp turns and that tail action on those slick shads as soon as it moves it straight in there. Hopefully we're feeling for a touchdown and a bang. The back end of the, the buttress, as you'd expect, everything gets washed in behind and it's an absolute snag pit, but it's also where the fish are. They can shelter there out of the current. It's not that there's that much current at the moment, but they can sit in there tight to the back of the buttress and feel secure. As I said, it's a snag bit. Wow, let's hope these guys have brought enough jig heads with them. Trap. Trap. Right, Max, there's no mess about. Get it in the net. Come on. Quick. Don't know if it meets minimum size, but hey ho, we've got a fish on the board. Come on, boys. Not a big fish by any standard, but it gets us off the mark. Slick shed. Forty five. Forty five. Happy? Angry little Zander. So Team UK are finally off the starting line. Time to see if the French can do the same. Another try, another bridge, another hope. So, still nothing happening, which is quite uh, stressful. <laughs> How are you getting on, Matt? Nothing, nothing now. I changed my technique now. I use the Carolina rig with a crawfish, natural one, and Texan hook. Because in this place, you have a lot of rocks, wood. It's why it's possible to catch a zander. Uh, I think it's more than a one hour fishing now. I don't know what time we start, 5.20, something like that. Yes, 5.50. Oh, well, 40 minutes fishing, I would say, but no bites. We checked two different spots, some shallows, some uh, uh, more deep, and we, s I mean, nothing happens. So we need to, we need to change quickly, try another kind of, uh, another kind of spot. So we changed spot um, to the small uh, canal and um, here there is a hole, it's quite deep. So as it is um, quite early in the morning, I tried to, uh, uh, to, to uh, fish on the sides of the hole in um, less water than in the deep. But at least in a short period of time and short uh, distance, we can try different depths uh, in order to, to see if we can get a bite or two. In this place, it's fun because we have a lot of grundle, some small fish. So, no, this is oh yes, okay. So when you when you fish with Carolina, Carolina or small lure, you the grundle catch a lure like this. It's difficult because sometimes the perch make the same like this now. One more, one more hour and still no bite. So it's, uh, it's really difficult. I hope it will pick up at one, one time, but it's, uh, it's worrying. So now we move to another place. Uh, just the, the beginning of uh, when you have a lot of boats. So maybe it's a good place to catch perch, something like this. We need to go fast.
So just reaching a new spot and we, we saw the German team uh, catching a very nice fish on the other bank. Uh, it's still in the water by the way, but they are going to catch it in a few seconds. And uh, it's a really good fish. Looks like a good zander, I think. Really nice. So we just crossed the river to discover another spot, which is very nice uh, urban environment as well, with bridges and uh, very nice spots. So new spot and new new hopes. So let's let's try to get a bite finally. Now we fish exactly the same spot where the German fishermen catch a, a nice zander. We know. This is the good place uh, for fishing because you have a small swimming pool, you have the big birds, so it's possible. So we are trying to make kind of a vertical fishing action from the bank, <laughs> which is quite unusual, but when linear fishing doesn't work, sometimes vertical uh, is the only way to, to catch something. So I'm trying to do this from um, from that dock. It's full of gobies. So, a desperate situation for the French, especially as one team is really getting into the Liège groove. What I'm doing now, it's kind of a vertical fishing, just casting quite like five, six meters far away, and then just walking the walls. And sometimes you can find quite good fish at this simple tactic, just walking the walls. Because like it's going quite deep, steep into the water. And uh, the gobies, they're just sitting there with the mussels and the perch and the sand are just uh, like coming onto the wall and picking them up and if you're passing your lure there uh, sometimes you can just grab them and uh, those bites they're feeling quite strong in the rod and it's pretty lovely and it's kind of adrenaline when it's coming into the rod I love it fish. It's a good fish. Sender. Size sender. Should be fine. Yeah, that's a here go size. Okay. Yes, yes, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. It's okay, I got it. It's yes. Uh, bang, great. number two. Jigging time. Seems like a good one as well. Yeah. Yes, nine centimeter slick shed did his job again. 12 gram jig head, everyone said, yeah, you have to fish quite light, but that's how I do it at my place. A bit more heavy, and you're like tugging really on the ground and on the floor, and it seems like that the fish like it. First one was a chunky perch. Now we got, I think, a quite good sander with exactly 50 centimeters. It's a good start into a good day, and I think with that one, you can be happy. 50 centimeters, second fish of the day, slick shot 9 centimeters, another 50 points for us, Team Germany. So what's the plan now, Patrick? So after two fish for Herman on uh, Jig Head, it was the time for me to quit the finesse fishing for a while and start jigging myself using the same color as him because, well, we just have to catch fish. And maybe later finesse will work better, but just at the moment it seems so that I prefer a jig hat with drop down action. So let's see what comes.
Now, next step is the drop shot rig. This I can also fish a little bit like a jig hat. Just say it uh, like jigging drop shot rig. So I can combine casting very far by using heavy weight with a quite weightless bait and the jigging technique. Probably a good idea because I have got the feeling I have to come further out. Mm. Well, tasty. Well, I have to do something, I have to catch a fish. <laughs> Sander could be sized. Runter, 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 runter. Get it down, get it down. Up, up. Wow. The change did work out. Not the biggest fish, but I hope for being sized. On a small Sander Pro Shed. Let's have a look. That's why you call it Sander Pro Shed. <laughs> Down. So it's 40. Two and a half. Two and a half. Perfect. So actually, after almost one hour of fishing, we have quite quite a lot of couple of things: walking vertical, jigging, finesse fishing, and we got some fish. And now we've decided because there's no reaction anymore that we will go further and check for another place and see if another spot will work out or not. Otherwise, we have to walk around and see what the, the next hours are getting on the river. Okay, now you see, once more again, I'm busy with doing something. This is now, I'm gonna put a hard bait on it as we're gonna walk towards the next spot. I wanna pull a hard bait behind me. So while walking, you still got the option of getting a bonus fish. Yeah, so let's try it. And I think I'm gonna take a bullhead and, um, well, we'll see. Let's try it. So what a beauty on the crank, was just, uh, we were just trying to, to change the spot and I said yeah why shouldn't I crank it, just walk and passing the crank beside and yeah this is the effort actually a pretty nice sander, well said sander, we will measure it now, let's have a look, but I think, ah oh, perfect, 70 centimeters, wow, what a beauty. As Team Germany romp into the lead, it's time to catch up with the Dutch, who aren't giving up the top spot without a fight. Where are you now, Coon? Yeah, we uh, went from a bit out of the city, we went more the, into the city art. And uh, we're trying to uh, find our senders on maybe a perch over here. So let's see what it will bring. I'm still jigging with the uh, 11 centimeter slick shed and of course the, the hot, hot olive color. Maybe I'm changing from a 10 to a 7 gram because I have a really good contact. And the grundles are still uh, alive. 
unfortunately. Taj, any change of tactics? Well, Kuhn has a, a hot olive uh, color on it. Also my favorite color, but I'm gonna switch it to a lemon tiger. Maybe it works better. So we have two colors, two completely different colors to uh, fishing. That way we can notice a lot faster what they want. Both of us. Ah! It was a big one. So the hot olive works, but now uh, yeah, we maar we zien slime. Looks like you, looks like you had a catfish. Yes, yeah, looks like some uh, catfish slime, but I don't know. So I just fished, uh, missed the fish. I don't know what it was, but if you can see the slime, I maybe think a catfish. My bait doesn't have any uh, bite marks, so I don't know. But it felt big. <laughs> Let's put a new one on and uh, fish better. Ah, yeah, this works nice. Feels like a really big fish, but I don't know what it is. I think it's a catfish. But it might not. I was feeling like I was stuck. Then I gave line. And then I feel like a little, a little twist. I'm shaking. Catfish, I think. I hope a big sender, but I don't think so. But it feels like a really good fish. I'm playing on uh, the new TI rod. This is spin finesse rod. I choose it because it's, uh, it has a really great action for the jigging for sender. And now you see it has a lot of backbone as well for big fish. But the fish is coming, so I'm really curious about what it is. Oh! My God! The bad news for the guys is the catfish don't count in the competition. Ik had dus mooi niet in net passen. No, I don't think this will fit in the net. You saw it yet? No, nothing. It keeps, uh, it kept swimming in the deep. Fishing is going to take a while. <laughs> it is coming. I hope the hook keeps in. Your first one, catfish. Yeah, my first catfish. If it is a catfish. If it is. But I don't know what it's else. But look at the action of this rod. Do you see the bubbles? <laughs> this won't fit the net. Oh no, man. I'll grab it by hand. Oh, it's falsely hooked catfish. Yeah? Yeah. Falsely, falsely hooked. What? Oh. What? Whoa! Come. Who down? Ow. I missed it for for once and I think he might have come back and yeah. missed it. Whoa! This thing is strong. 
<laughs> fell hooked it in. Nope. Oh my god! Oh, sweet, you got it. <laughs> man, man, man. Fell hooked, but nice fish. How long do you think it is? <laughs> I think it's uh, one, about one meter ten. Yeah, something like that. We nice got a one. It's a great fish. Never, never caught a. A catfish before, I missed one uh, earlier and uh, I missed one this, this one as well, but I falsely hooked it. A <laughs> good fight. <laughs> I'm shaking. What a fish, what a fight. And what a shame we're not including catfish in the competition. Although the look on Coon's face tells us he's not too bothered about that at the moment. Time to see what those British are up to. I think we give it our best shot on the far side in the shallower water. We come over to the deeper water where the current catches on the inside. When we were practicing on Sunday, um, in similar conditions to this, perhaps a little bit warmer, we saw some asp on the surface. Kev got a follow off of one. So the thought process is we'll go back to that bridge, see if they're around there and perhaps give it a go. No, you don't want to film this, you really don't. Old school, 12 centimetre, tickle pass, cut down a little bit, and a nice wrap. When Kevin and myself were down here practicing on Sunday, we saw four, five big eyed just out here in in, on the top and in amongst them there were one or two asp and Kev got a follow from an asp so the thought process is let's stick on a shallow runner and uh, rip it across the top see if we can entice one if they're there. Onto the line we place the Selmo Fanatic short shallow runner we'll go out and give it a go. Big aspect, Trev. Just keep casting. Just yeah. swimming everywhere. Yeah, no, I just I see the see the big eye. Yeah, no, but I see the eye first. Then I, when we saw him on Sunday, the asp was with the eye. So we've seen a couple of fish here. We've seen well, at least one asp. Quite a few eye by the looks of it. There's lots and lots and lots of really tiny fry about. Um, so. Gone in with a bigger hornet, rattling hornet. Just see if we can provoke a take really. It's um, probably 25 degrees now, I would have thought. Um, bright, bright, bright sunshine. Certainly not ideal street fishing condition. Meanwhile, Trev switches back to targeting Xander. Yes, Kev! Oh! Keep going. One fish on the board. Plenty of missed opportunities. Really tough morning. Uh, we've got about half hour left. We're under the final bridge of the, of the morning session. Um, back to what I know and trust. Back to a um, lemon tiger. Stick shed. Um, a rattle in there and I'm just gonna cast and grind for the last half an hour. Boom. Same back on a slick shad. Natural bait fish with a little bit of bleed on the tail. And uh, see if we can get the one that we just lost. Gutted. And then all of a sudden, it's action stations. Keep them coming, keep them coming. 
Come on. He ain't long enough, Trev. <coughs> He's long enough. No, Game in. Come on. Well done, mate. Boom! He is long enough. You f***ing legend. <laughs> Old boys rule. <laughs> hey, I deserve that. Oh, yeah, you do. You do. You do. You do. That, I'll talk you through it. That has just saved my afternoon. I now have a happy partner, a happy me. We might not be in the lead. We put two fish on the board. Happy days. Go on, Trev, how'd you get him? How'd I get him? I put pink. Uh, like if a... in doubt, go with pink. Go pink. Go Always on. go pink. Let's right, let's get him sorted out, yeah. He's just great. Oh, another 45. 44. 44. 44. 44. Well done, Trev. <laughs> so, no blanks for the guys in Team UK, but there still could be for other countries. Let's see how the French are getting on. Only one hour to go before the before the end of uh, of this session. So, still no fish. That's. Not good at all, but it happens. That's uh, that's fishing. So we'll try our best until the the last cast, anyway. The water is super clear, so I try to fish in the shadow, uh, so under the bridge. So. Um, I hope it's a better area for thunder fishing because of that super clear water and, and high light. Most of the time they are biting better uh, with, with low light condition. Meanwhile, Matt is keeping quiet until... Yeah, <laughs> good job. The first one. First under. So we need, we need to put it in the net, man. Ah! dedans je le crois pas oh. <laughs> 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 ah, that's the... Le coup de shot. So, cool. tiens prends ton poisson first time the the lure in the net and and the fish come inside the net yeah so he, hooked up. he, he, he got rid of the hook and he was hesitating between the freedom <laughs> of the captivity, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it shoots the net. So that's a 52. So the first fish with Sylvain, we are so happy because maybe it's the last hour of the morning. Yes, so the last hour. Yeah. So we needed it. Yeah, of course, of course. So let's catch another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. You could really feel the relief there from Team France, who finally had some centimetres to the scoreboard right at the death. Time to see if the Germans have extended their lead any further. No stone on it. Whoa, whoa. Big fish, big fish. <laughs> it's a pike. <laughs> Random. Ich hab's nicht genau gesehen. Könnte sein, dass er ganz knapp am Rand ist, aber. Weißt du? Ho, 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 ho! Yes! Bam! Bonusfish, man! Bam! <laughs> We got the triple, boy! We got the triple, that's it! On drop shot! <laughs> Seventy two. Seventy two. This is maybe a good bonus fish for us, but 
What's most important? 72 centimeters more on our day. A pike on drop shot is more than pure luck. That I, yeah, it was perfectly hooked in the end, the line got between the teeth, but just in that moment, Herman got in the net and yeah, man. We oh, wow. That's the most important. Lovely, great. The points are on our side and two fish over 70. Can't be better <laughs> for us. So, um, after a little while, we decided to make a spot change as uh, we caught a pike over there. And I've got a little bit that feeling if pike are at the spot, probably perch and sander won't be there. They are not best friends, I would say. And so we decided to go to the next spot and again trolling by walking along the wall. It brought a nice sander just before and uh, Herman had another bite. So maybe get that bite now. We'll see. Let's do it. Second one, and it was just simply like crawling, walking, walking the wall, little crank, little hornet, working up perfect for us. Make it clear. So we are at 56. What a stunning, nice fish on a crab. So that's what street fishing is about. Just lovely. So that's it. Following six hours of fishing action, it's time to get the results and reactions from the guys. After the first session, Fox Rage Street Fighters. So there we have it. Team Germany storming ahead in first place with a huge 337 centimetres. More than double the efforts of Team Benelux in second place with 114 centimetres. Team UK come in at third with 89 centimetres, while Team France lag behind with just 52 centimetres for fourth. Of course, there are bonus points to be awarded on a daily basis and as it stands Germany is sweeping the board with the biggest pike, biggest perch and the biggest sander for an extra three points. Unfortunately, no asps were caught this morning so that point has not been awarded so far. We'll just have to see what's caught in the next session. And there are the points as they stand so far. Germany standing proud on six points after winning three for the longest length and a further three for the biggest fish bonus points. Benelux have two for their second place and UK one point for their third place, while France are yet to register on the board. Of course, after the next session, this could all change, with the points only being set in stone at the end of each day, meaning there's still plenty to play for. Let's hear what the guys have to make of the action this morning. Well, we finished on a high, but we got two, one, one Xander apiece, so, uh just under 90 centimeters but i think we're going to be well back Kev, well, what you got scores are just coming in oh my days uk two zander 89 centimeters we've done all right yeah um team benelux oh christ one zander 47 one zander 37 so that's undersized um discounted one zander 67 Seven. one catfish a meter 10. Mm, catfish don't count 
uh, which gives them 114 centimetres uh, which are above the length and the target species. And then we have German here on <laughs> my days. Germany, Perch 46.5, Zander 50, Zander 42.5, Zander 70, Zander 56, Pike 72, 337 centimetres. Well done, Germany. Yeah, they, right. they And the ones we've got to worry about is it's France. France. Where's France? Is France up there? France? Yeah. What? One Zander? Boom! <laughs> right. <laughs> that brings us to this evening's session. We're obviously behind, but time hey. to play catch up. Another day or another session? Let's smash well, it. Good day. Well done, mate. Well done. Chibi? So, 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 <laughs> so what? Bad news. <laughs> it, it can't be a good news. Is that right? Right. Yes, thank you. Oh, la, la, so, la, la, the result. La, la, la. I take the care of it. Big list, big list. Yes, I take care of it. Yeah. So, UK, two Zanders, 44, 45. Yes. Okay. Benelux. J j just like this? Just yes, two? Yes, oh, okay. yes, yes. So, this is okay. Uh, Benelux, they have one Zander of 47, Zander 37, but it's not sizable, I think. So, this one doesn't count. But they have a good one, 67. Yeah. So that's a cool. Uh, they have like two Zanders uh, counting as well. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the German team has a <laughs> good perch, 46.5, a Zander 50, Zander 42, Zander 70, Zander 66, uh, 56, uh, Pike 72. No! So, yeah, so 3 meters 37. Very good job. So congratulations, Germany. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. Well done, so really, good. really well done. Because it was, I guess, it was difficult for wow. all of us. You see, UK two, two, two Zanders, Benelux two Zanders. The Pike, the Perch, the Zander, Pike, Perch, Zander. and three meters. And they have the, the Seven biggest, point. biggest, something like this. Biggest Zander, biggest, of course, biggest Pike because it's the only one, and biggest Perch because it is the only one. So, so yes, four points for the winning. Three points for the species, so seven points Germany. They, will, they yeah. will be hard to beat. Yeah. And obviously they have found something. Uh, I mean, they will make a few fish again this afternoon and tomorrow, I guess. Yeah. But very good, very good fishing. Congratulations, yeah, yeah. guys. Congratulations, yes. very good. Well done. Okay, let's have a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we try to not to be the last one this afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need to catch more. Yeah. Yeah. And more bigger. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Uh, JB, you have strange messages on your phone. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, um, Team England, they caught 89 centimeters in total. That's okay. We caught 114 centimeters in total. Uh, Germany caught 337 in total, and France 52. So, so we're above the France guys. But we're second, and it's uh, quite good. It's quite good, so uh, we're, we're happy with that. We're okay. very happy, we have a couple sessions to go, so uh, I think we're working ourselves onto the top, maybe. What are your thoughts on Germany? Yeah, they, they did a good job, but we spotted them, so maybe we should fish there. <laughs> yeah, they did a very good job. Uh, I don't know where they get them from, but uh, big respect for those guys. Yeah. They did a very good job. Hopefully, uh, we all can uh, get into them. What species did they catch? They caught perch, zander and pike. And also, the three biggest perch, zander and pike. So they're First, with four points, and uh, no, no, with three points, and also with the biggest with three points. So they, they six already points. have six. It's gonna be tough, but uh, everything is possible. We're still at the beginning of the competition, so uh, <laughs> let's do our best. Yeah, and make the best out of it.
so like the first half of the day the first day is over i think our fishing was not so bad like we had a good start at the beginning catching a good perch and following by sanders then uh, what was well, you patrick with an extra bonus pike so so oh, a nice i catch. think like where we can be in a good average i think to to beat the, our perch won't be easy because like 46 46 and a half is quite a good good size and now we are really looking forward to see what the others uh, have caught yeah. that's what i think so let's have a check so it's starting with the uk guys they have in total two sanders 45 44 centimeters that's good for us so in total 89 mm. so for me and for you as well one yeah. of the favorites like the dutch guys they have three sanders so 47 37 67 yeah, plus the catfish with a 1010 pretty nice in total amount is 114 pretty good for us in the frenchies one sander 52. <laughs> this means for us look what a bri <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <so> nice. <laughs> congrats to the panzer division i guess uh, they mean us german guys yeah. because like we had a pretty good start what i told you already with yeah. the start with the big perch 46 and a half for me followed by you. a 50 centimeter sander then patrick had a 40 two and a half then uh, I got a pretty bonus sander with 70 centimeters followed by a second sander with 56 centimeters That's and then the pike. the pike from Patrick with 72 centimeters got us 337 yeah. centimeters in total so for us it's quite a big lead but we are still a second uh, second half and we're well, optimistic. I think we know what we will do. Well, uh, it's a big surprise because uh, it's a lead in every position. So, biggest perch, biggest sander, biggest pike at the moment, most points. Insane. And well, Good. I've got the miracle with me. I've got the weapon itself. It's the Herminator. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, bro. <laughs> so, let's keep you up to date and we hope for a nice second day of fishing. See you later, guys.